Hey, D. I'm trying to figure out how to make you my moderator, and I kind of did a deep dive, and it's not that easy. So I'm going to have to do this again. Um, I was running out of time. There's a way I have to do this before the live stream starts, but through YouTube, but not studio. It is very weird. I'm like, what the heck? So I was reading up on it. Like, I'm going to have to do this later because, and also guys, since I'm not at a thousand subs, my YouTube, can you guys hear me by the way? I muted my, there we go. Let me muted this, but I wanted to see, there we go. Yeah. Okay, cool. I am, um, because I'm not at a thousand subs, my live is kind of throttled. So it's not, I'm going to put on lipstick while we talk. Well. Woohoo! Got the Kate Spade today. Thanks. Right? That bag is highly underrated. People think Kate Spade, and I think people think Safiano leather called cross grain, but that is the softest shoulder bag of, of beautiful black leather ever. I'm so happy you got it. Um, yes. So I put this on on purpose because I wanted it to look at this awesome um, neck ruffle and uh so i was looking this this hangs by my bedside and i wanted people to see it because when i was talking pearls and jewelry that someone said that baroque pearls this is my favorite pearl necklace i own i got it off ebay from china five years ago um so hey d linda s um okay let me see if i got everybody um so pretty and soft. Yes, that that Kate Spade, I swear, is lambskin. It doesn't say it's lambskin, but it feels like lambskin. It's so soft. It's just, I, I would stack that against any higher-end designer ever. You know, super underrated bag. Um, so, yeah, we have a fun-packed, filled um, live today. I have, um, I wrote notes, guys. I wrote notes. I have notes because I wanted to keep somewhat on topic. Topic. So, um, on my live, on in my description box. Hey, Rael, I loved. Um, I love your Instagram post every day. I love it. It's like, oh man, that's so cool that you your shoes, those red little booty shoes you were wearing. I don't know if they're your house slippers or outdoor shoes. They were so cute. I'm like, where did she get those? Um, so. It is, um, so today we're going to be talking about the dude. If you watched my video today that posts every day at six o'clock in the morning, everybody was asking about, please show the Dooney. So I have that. Um, and I wasn't going to do, I didn't actually do a clean with me video for that one. Cause since I post so far out, um, oh, your Uggs, those are Uggs. Those are so cute. Those Uggs are adorable, Rael. Adorable. Um. And I need, if Vivian shows up, I wanted to show her my uh, dress up your purse bag because Vivian wanted to see it last week. So if, if she shows up and pops up and I don't see her, y'all remind me. Um, and then we're going to be talking about the vlog sale, the car repairs, the topic of the day. And at the very end, I'm going to talk about religion. So I'll, I'll warn everybody for those who don't want to talk about religion because I've had a few things happen and it's just really life update. So I want to give everybody fair warning uh, who, who popped in first. Um, I re I recommend the Uggs. I don't have Uggs mainly because I always was wear I would wear the shearling booties from LL Bean. And as house slippers. But because of my lovely Great Dane and Pug, who love fuzzy, fluffy things, I dare not. Um, so I probably buy slippers at least three pair a year. They only last about a year and I have to throw them out because my dogs think they're chew. They don't chew them. They slobber on them. Legit. Mr. Milo thinks they're something to move around. I've had to move them. If it, so anyway. All the, and the, and the LL Bean, the LL Bean slippers, I used to be able to get them like 60, 60, not $70 on sale. There's, they start at over a hundred. They're about 120 now. So I've always worn those. So when Uggs came around, I was like, 
I've been wearing these for years. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> so, um, but I can't really walk. I can't wear them as wearing out shoes. My my feet have too many issues, so I can only wear them as house shoes. Uh, Uggs has a reward system now, and I get I get my greyhounds are crazy for them too. You have okay? Do you have the full size greyhounds or the Italian greyhounds? Because I love greyhounds. I actually wanted to get a retired greyhound because we live near, um, in San Antonio, there's a race track that races greyhounds. Oh, you have the full size one. And you can always get senior retired, you know, greyhounds and they're big, giant, lazy dogs. But my husband wasn't a fan. He, he didn't, he didn't quite want the greyhound. I don't think he likes the sleek kind of pointy look. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I still think they're awesome. Maybe someday. Because they're just, they're ginormous, lazy house dogs. They're legit. Like, they don't, they'll sprint. They'll sprint for, to go get the rabbit. But, man, if they had a choice, they'll be on your couch. You know? It's like, they're like, no, no. At this time, I brought a drink with me because um, I realized I talk through these whole things and never drink anything. So when I'm done, I'm like, oh. So anyway, my husband right now, he had jury duty today. He was not picked, thank goodness. And he was um, he was home after jury duty. He and he, and he actually got off a little early. He not he didn't they didn't keep him quite till like closing time. So he was able to get home, but I was like, honey, I don't have time to cook. He didn't really want to go out to eat. So I said, because I really want this recipe you posted on Facebook. And I'm like, you do? Well, go to H-E-B and buy all the stuff. H-E-B is their grocery store. So I'm like, go, go get the stuff. Everything's involving a can, practically. Just go get it. And um, all the vegetables, just buy them pre-chopped. But my husband's cooking ability is, um, he can follow directions. Um, but I'm not going to make him chop onions and, and, and carrots. It's like, look, if you're willing to dump this stuff into a pan, it's it's an undue, it's a, un, well, kielbasa sausage with great northern beans it just has it's a simple recipe it's like carrots onions sausage uh, milk at the end some uh, chicken broth um, some seasonings and Worcestershire sauce I mean it's a basic and two cans of great northern beans it's a simple soup right um, so I'm just like yeah sure just do it um, and, and you know so he went off to HEB he's cooking dinner I am so thrilled I'm like yes husband thank you husband um, I'm having dinner. I will drink with you. Ha <laughs> ha. Yay. Um, so we have about 10 people here. Yay. Thank you. Oh, I also wanted to talk about, um, on my vacation, I wanted to talk about YouTube, um, uh, creator stuff. Let me, let me write this down. Did I write down vacation? Shoot. I didn't. I wrote it in my thing. I forgot to write it in my notes. Let me put down vacation. And put down YouTube things. I'm finding out more and more stuff about YouTube. I I am very fortunate, guys, that I get to listen to YouTube while I work because the type of work I do is production work, where I get to sit down and my my I guess higher brain function. It's like a lot of my job is input and data, so I'm just sitting here inputting, translating, and and drawing. Right, so my I get bored, so I listen to audio. Either I used to be just audio books, and now it's audio books and YouTube, and sometimes um, podcasts. And I'm doing my work, making my widgets, and I have to stop often. Uh, there's uh, it's because of my the work I do. I have it's. I wear 3D goggles. It's it's involved. So you have to readjust your eyes a lot. So I get to take all these breaks anyway. And I'm just looking and I'm looking at my phone and I look back over here. So anyway, I get a lot, I get a lot of time to uh read a, and, and listen to a lot of content. Um yeah, yeah. So um so I get to I watch I listen more than watch. I really am not a YouTube watcher. I'm a YouTube listener. So um, that's why I kind of try to read all the comments because I know that a lot of people, especially with lives, it's a listening fun thing, right? So Rael says, same, I watch YouTube at work. Linda S says, oh, thank you for thumbing up the live, Linda S. Thank you, D, for reminding everybody. So YouTube thinks the pesky algorithm. Um I'm going to wait to show the bag. I actually know it. I told Totes Jean I would do it first. So let me do it within the first 
We've already been here 10 minutes. Let me show you this bag, guys. If you've seen my, um, this morning's vlog, not vlog, uh, video, I was showing this, this bag. Well, it has now been conditioned. I did not use, um, I said I was going to use neat foot oil. I did use neat foot, neat foot oil. I used, um, my favorite Aussie. Here's right here. I used this. Because I, when I was doing this, I couldn't find my neat foot oil. I've now reorganized all my my stuff, so now I can do it. So I probably will at some point. Neat foot oil will darken this leather. I'm not sure if I will or not, but you can see there's some spotting and some marks here. Because this is an all, um, all vaqueta. I've, I've been trying to learn to say this correctly. But everybody wanted to see it because when I showed it, you saw the inside was just horrible, right? Well, this is with a just with a brushing and um, with a little bit of upholstery cleaner. So this, this, um, this, that's all, that's all I did when I cleaned it. So I did do a video, a clean with me. So I used a nylon brush and it's not even that clean there i mean there is but this is really awful when you saw it on the video so i wanted to just show you guys i've used this a few times i use this um this silver strap on it because it has silver hardware and it doesn't i don't know if this originally came with the strap but mine didn't but sometimes i like to sling the chain strap on my shoulder when I'm running into the office, but when I get in and out of the car, I do this. I'm a top carry person a lot of the times, and I just think this is bag is just absolutely gorgeous. It has a lot of character. All the dog hair is free. Um, and you can see how the age spots and water spots, and people kind of panic over that. Um, I don't. I think, I think things like this add beauty. Hey, Melissa, I think things like this add um, character. I like things. I, I want things to look like they're used, but not completely destroyed. So I'm not going as far as the, as the Olsen twins. If you've seen image pictures of their beat up bags, I every time I see their bag, whenever they show that picture, I'm like, please moisturize that leather. I mean, I'm not saying to go repair it. I'm just saying... Put some moisture. When it gets that scuffy, add some leather protector on it. Add a little moisturizer, please. Um, so anyway, I am. Whew, it's been a day, a day. It's been a week since I talked to y'all last. I'm going to go. I'm going to jump right into the vlog sale update. So everybody who participated, thank you so much for participating. Um. Everybody catching this on the replay, thank you so much for participating. I am um, I was able to get enough money that I was able to we were able to repair the car. It was twenty two right under twenty two hundred dollars. Um, now that didn't all come from the vlog sale. I sold a little bit over six hundred dollars, and of course a hundred of that was a hundred and twenty of that was all in postage. And I'm not done. I have. One box that's going to, hey, Cammy. one box that is going to um, Australia that's not, I'm going to get a quote on shipping tomorrow. One box that's going to New York that hasn't been mailed because she's on vacation. And I have one more bag, uh, one more set of box uh, bags that are going to San Antonio um, that are being delivered to Miss GDB by me. So they're still in my house. But I was able to pay for the difference we didn't have in the car and pay our utility bill. Now, we're still having money problems getting to on our vacation. So, I wanted... Now, since Cammie's here, I'm going to show you all this bag. And I'll show it again. I have a surprise bag for sale on this live for $220. Yes, it's expensive. Because I am only selling this... So I can go see the King Mouse in two weeks. We are going to, to Disney. And I need, this is strictly, honest to goodness, gas money. Um, and I'm showing you this <laughs> because um, I know we have some fans. This was the, last year's Dempsey Peanut Drop. And this is a special bag. Yes, it's $220 with shipping. I will I'll ship it. 
Um, this one has a leather strap. This does not have the dreaded um, guitar strap. Either you love that gu guitar strap or you hate that guitar strap. So this one has a leather strap. It has the Coach times Peanuts tag. This is last year's drop. It has the original receipt. I think I've used this bag two times um, right here. It has, well, it doesn't have the receipt. It has the original tag. The tag says it originally comparable yeah, comparable value is at 450 so i bought it probably at 225 because half off the comparable price because that's how um that's how it, that's how it works so that would be full price at launch even though this is used because i'm seriously i'm only selling this because i need gas money and if i don't well, mr milo do you have to tear paper now Milo, he he needs to be part of the show. Milo, come here. Come on. Come on. Don't rip up the paper. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Yeah, I know Jamie's not here. Are we protesting? We're protesting. James has gone to the grocery store, and we are going to sit here and um, want and seek attention, right? We want attention. So, um... To make room myself, I can't sell, I can't sell anything I have a vlog sale video on this Wednesday. Yeah, I understand. I understand, Cami. I get it completely. Um, so I'm going to show this again um, a few times, and if you know anybody, let me know. I'll put a community post up um, because I, I mean that is selling it at, at a high price. I do acknowledge that because um, it's kind of the hey. Look at that. Hi. Look, look, you're on TV. Well, you're on YouTube, which could be on a television. Who knows? Um, so this is my great Dane. For those who do not know, this is Milo. Milo's a senior Dane. He's eight and a half years old. He's very jealous. Extreme. Great Danes are very funny. They have, they don't like attention to other things, and because I'm talking to you, they're he and, and his person isn't here. I'm only his second favorite person because I'm the or I'm his, I'm only his favorite person when I'm here alone. When his person, which is James, is home, I am persona non grata. It's like who are you? But he will sit next to me if James is not giving him enough attention. N no, he, he's like no, you you must still pet me. Mm -hmm. This is a very this is very Dane like this is very extremely Dane, and it's funny he'll ignore you. He'll he'll totally ignore you, and then I'll say the other dog's name, and he'll like what what, and he'll just insert himself. He'll be like excuse me. So okay, so we car repairs were done. I have car has brakes. Um, my vacation is in a couple weeks. So guys, those of you who are in the Florida area. Um, if you want to do a meetup, email me. I'm meeting up with a few people. So if you're in the Orlando area, that's where I'm going, um, along with thousands of other people. And I'll tell you where I'm staying if you email me and we can meet up, you know. So, and okay, so that's the first part of the video done. Now we just get to talk and have fun story time. So I was watching. Um, Cammy's video this week about classy or trashy. Ooh, ooh. Lethal, lethal tail. Oh, yes, you did that. Now you're stuck. You can't leave. Oh, no. He just not his tail is knocked over my tower of boxes of um, things I have to open. I have gotten a whole bunch. And now, because the Great Danes are super sensitive, he's like, there's stuff on the floor. I can't go. I can't. I can't. I there's there's something in my way. Life is wrong. No, you don't pick that up. No, sir. No, no, no. You can't move it out of the way. You are the one who dropped it. Don't blame me. Go on. Go. You can go. No. No. He's like, no. He's like, you can't make me? I'm not leaving. There's boxes in his way. So anyway, I'm not an authority on classy. No, that's not what I'm talking about. So with 
Winnie B also did a video about um, her six classy bags in her collection. Oh, sorry. Had to move that so he can come, come back if he wants to. So, oh. The whale eyes. Yes, the whale eyes. The big eyes of, I can't move past this impediment. You put it there, dog. It's like, you did that. You did that. So anyway, um, so what I'm talking about, um, what got me thinking about this, I can't do this video because classy is subjective. It's just super subjective and it's super like, I'm like, this is going to make people mad at me. So I wanted to talk about a story. It reminded, it reminded me of a story. So I wanted to tell you guys, my aunt, the millionaire, um, who's no longer alive, she was um, 50 years older than I am. My dad was 41 when I was born and my aunt lived to be 93 and she died a few years ago. So no one's going to get mad at this story, but this is what happened. So all of the family weddings, all of the family funerals, all the family events that we all have in life, she always wore the same designer dress because for her, that was the epitome of class. It was just this dress that had hibiscus flowers on it. It was tailored. It was fitted. It was a very high end. It had some... Um, zebra prints with hibiscus flowers to me it screamed 90s right but um and she might have bought it in the 90s i don't know she didn't really wear one pieces very often so this is to her her most this was her wedding outfit she, when she went to a wedding she wore this dress so what is this result what's the result hey don loves couture uh the result is all the photo albums I'm going through after my dad's estate and everything is my aunt at all the major family events in the same dress over three decades. And she's the millionaire, mind you. So this is a very expensive designer dress that she really loved. She only brought out for special occasions, which means she's in all the photos. And for her, that is her classiest, her most, you know, she felt most attractive in that dress. And I just always thought, I. by the way, I never liked the dress. I never told her that. She loved that dress, okay? So I wasn't going to tell her, hey, Aunt Colleen, I don't really like your dress. And um, But it's funny to go back down memory lane. You're looking at the photo albums, like this cousin got married and that cousin got married. And then, oh, and then it's all the same pictures with my aunt. <laughs> all in the same dress. <laughs> and then... um. My mother's version of, which is contrary to my mother's version of classy. So my mother's version of classy is understated, but in the most outlandish way possible. When I say understated, my mother goes to the airport traveling and people ask her how much currency she has on her. Immigration does because you there's a limit to how much currency you can bring into the country. And she looks like she should be carrying, you know... <laughs> A lot of currency. By the way, James, Milo protested greatly that you were gone. Uh -huh. His tail knocked over my tower of boxes, and he was ripping paper in protest. You also didn't send me that I, I needed to pick up paper. Oh, I forgot to tell you? Yeah. I thought I did. You told me, but you didn't send me I didn't text. send you the text. I must have written the text. Into the, well, anyway, what's done is done. I'll have to get it tomorrow. Um... Thank you, Robin. This is my work, my $15 Timu dress with my, I don't remember how much I paid for Baroque pearls off eBay from China that I have hanging in my bedroom. I love pearls and these are my favorite pair. Um, yes, they look like a bazillion dollars. I look like a bazillion dollars. I get the $15 dress. <laughs> um, that's why she's a million. Exactly, Cammy. That's why she's a millionaire. So, my my mother, her idea of class is is um different, right? So her idea. So my mom was my mom's a, okay. My mother is always has been a stay at home wife. Her job 
was the social partner to my father's political career, which was military, and then her second husband, who was a Danish diplomat. Her entire job in life was entertaining and going to gala. Seriously, she's the she's the person. She she's met the king and queen of Thailand. I'm pretty sure she's. I think she they've met royalty in Denmark too. I mean, that's it's just what happens, right? So. Mom, I said, well, how do you manage to wear all, what dresses are you wearing? Um, she's not, and this is what kills me. She's not buying European designer gowns. She made them all. I'm like, what? So I watched my mother growing up. She would buy extremely expensive silk out of Thailand. The, the, it's different than the silk you can buy out of China. It's a different weave and thickness and consistency of texture. So it looks more, she would buy the silk, buy the meters, and she would make, she she um, wanted to be a designer, a French. She wanted to go study school. She wanted to study in France to be a clothing and fashion designer. She never did. She did study how to do sewing, pattern making, and she does, she did learn how to speak French. But she never went to formal school in Paris, which is what she wanted. Um, if she had, a, if she had had the opportunity, she would have done this. Which is why my mother laments to this day on my lack of fashion sense. Um, I am improving, but I have spent most of my life in a t-shirt. <laughs> and she, um, so anyway, she would make her own beautiful gowns and looked like a thousand dollars. That the. Um, European designers couldn't compete with when you would go to these social events because while you're going to um, events for ambassadors, ambassadors don't make the same kind of bank as celebrities. So you're not looking at Valentino here. You're not looking at Dior and Chanel. You're looking at people buying dresses that are just nice dresses. And uh, so... And she would take, so what my mom did as a side hustle, when people realized my mother was making her dresses, like what she was wearing, and people would be like, you made that? She took orders. <laughs> she would go to Thailand. She would buy the silk, because she went anyway. She would buy the silk. We know people in the silk districts, and everybody is an entrepreneur in Thailand. And she would make dresses for the ambassadors. I mean, um, wives <laughs> that's that's her side that was her side gig for years and it wasn't a, a huge thing because she didn't want to be known as just a seamstress you know so she just did it for fun and extra pocket money so when she went to thailand or she went to, go to paris just for fun she met some of the coolest people that way so for her um classy is understated and not branded because she's she has always said well-fitting clothes um, will show you something is of quality more than the name or label. Now, she's saying this in Thai, obviously. And um, because that's that's what's so funny about ready-to-wear. And I'm watching all of these YouTubers talk about fashion. Um, I am not a fashion follower. I am not fashion forward. Despite how nice I look, this is still a $15 polyester dress from from Timu, guys. I look nice, um, but it's not because I'm following fashion. I look nice because I'm wearing what makes me feel comfortable. And if I feel comfortable, you're confident, right? So I don't look awkward because I feel fine. I, it fits. My clothes fits. It's, it's, I'm okay with it. Um, and I feel the most comfortable in modest clothes, right? So um, what I'm talking about class is because... It's such a hard thing to pin down because I was watching. It's so funny. Y'all know I follow Super Jacob. Love Super Jacob. And you know I and I follow Cassie Thorpe. I watch Meredith. Don loves Couture. Amelia. Um, who are the other people I watch? I watch um, Wild, Wild Unfiltered with Deb. I, I love Luxury Life in the Middle. All these people. Uh, Dale's Addiction. All these people are most of them buying luxury designer clothing. Uh, so Cammy says, that's awesome. I wish I had talent. I can barely sew on a button. Don says, the tour says, I said that yesterday when I saw someone in the tubes wearing tight jeans. Don says, nothing wor looks worse than a than ill-fitting clothes. That's the truth. Cammy's closet 
laughing at Dawn. Dawn says, and size doesn't matter. It matters that you wear things that fit right. Yes. So, so what I wanted to talk to you about, like with like these Timu clothes, and I wanted to talk about Timu in general and clothing. The only reason I've been able to look better, and people have commented on my Facebook, they've commented on my Instagram, they've commented in real life. My friends and family cannot believe I'm wearing dresses all the time. It's because I've finally found a cut and size of dress that fits my body. Um, so I keep buying them because I, I don't know how long this wealth will last. So it's a cut and fit that for some people, this would be considered like a muumu because it's an A-line straight fit. But this actually fits my bust line. So this is a 56-inch bust line. And that's the key for me. The widest part of me is right here. Not my hips, not my waist. It's right here. So if I could find it to fit here, I can make everything else fit. Because it just has to fit here. And then I can just, you know, I can do it with some minor sewing. Um, Cami says, Rael, that's why everything is from TJ Maxx. Uh, Donald's Couture, you do look great in those dresses. Rael says, yep, TJ Maxx down the road from me. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Donald's Couture, we have... Um, you have it in the widest part of your body. Yes. The fit. Yes. The fit has to be in the widest part of the body. Um, Linda, as you look so pulled together in your dresses and shoes and bags, I follow you on IG and I love how you coordinate your outfits and shoes. Bags. Yeah. And that's all recent. This is all new because of Timu. And because once I started showing, once I found shoes that worked for my feet, that would go with dresses that, that weren't all orthopedic looking. I was able to expand my wardrobe, but it started with the shoes. Without the shoes, I couldn't have done this because I've always had the foundation garments. I've always had the right, you know, under things to make a dress work, but I wasn't able to wear it with the shoes I wanted because I couldn't wear those shoes. But the Vivea shoes with the extra insert I found that works for me, let me wear all of these shoes I never could wear before. I could never wear a flat shoe that looked good with the dress because of my feet. So with my feet looking less like I, my hippie in Birkenstocks, I was able to um, wear dresses. So um, I, I was, so this is also, um, I was, I was talking to a lot of my friends keep saying, Oh, I love your clothes. I love your dresses. And it's like, and these dresses cost less than most of my t-shirts do. And, and that's why I keep buying them because I love them so much. And the patterns I've never worn before or colors I've never worn before. Um, Linda S., I don't have a TJ Maxx near me. I don't either, Linda. D says I have a TJ Maxx near me too. So D. I live rural, so I'm between two major metropolitan areas and a 30 minutes from a college town. And so I don't have TJ Maxx. We don't have... Um, I think the the only plus size clothing store I have in my area is is Walmart, and I don't like Walmart. Yes, you look fab, Jack Jackie. I have tried to move clothes. I'm sitting in the sweats and trying to get food every week. Uh, trying to get food every week. yes, yes. <laughs> sitting. Did I read that right? Clothes, clothes. I'm sitting. Yeah, um, sweets and try not to get close. Um, hey, Chas with Chris, I love TJ Maxx near me, and you can bet that your bottom dollar that they don't carry above extra large. Yeah, that's the problem with TJ Maxx for me. Even their three XL for for plus size does not fit fit my bust. I have to buy my T shirts in the men's big section because well, two reasons. I want them first to fit my bust and men's clothing come with measurements. There's a standard measurement they use for almost all men's clothing and a length. I cannot do a short shirt and a lot because of my bust. If it fits a little snug, it means it rides a little high. So it's just, I can't just go walk into a store and buy clothes. I can't, I haven't. And now that a lot of the plus size stores um, have, they don't exist. Like, I have to drive an hour to go to a store to maybe find something. I'm like, no, thank you. So I've just been buying them online, and it's been working. And that's why I think the YouTube channels that are plus-size try-ons, can they are successful. Because if everybody's buying clothes online, and you're if you're over a size 3X, and I'm over a size 3X in most standard women's clothing, um, 
they people want to say, well, what does that look like on me? You know, which is why I started doing Instagram showing all my clothing because I want people to see who might have a weird body shape like me where I'm not hippie. I don't have the hourglass figure, but I have all the front weight. You know, I'm 300 pounds and 5'4". You know, I'm short. I'm round. You know, um, Chris, um, I still manage to do damage, though, because I find that no matter what size I am, the handbags always fit. Exactly, Chris. The handbags, the home goods, the textiles, the when I'm on textiles like sheet. I always buy sheets and um, towels at Ross and stuff. I don't. I haven't been inside of a real Macy's in a long time, but I'm a huge online Macy's shopper. Um, Cami's closet, Chris. My TJ Maxx has large size selection. Dawn, hi Chris. Chats with Chris. Cami, I wanted to raid your TJ Maxx. Seems like they have the best of the East Coast. Oh my gosh, Dawn and Cami are buying, you know, finding Lagos jewelry at their TJ Maxx. I'm like, what the heck? That's not of my TJ Maxx. Cami's closet, 2XL and 3XL at my store. Yeah, but the thing is, 2X and 3X in most clothing sizes don't fit me. I'm actually above the normal 3XL. I am honestly, if you go with normal women's clothing, I am a 5XL um, because my top is between a 24, tight 24, or a 30, depending on cut. My bottom says 20. I don't know. It's annoying. 20, 22, depending on cut and fit. I have weird body shape and it's hard to find clothes. That's why dresses work well for me because um, it just has to fit the top. Uh, Cami says, I have found some amazing deals at TJ Maxx, especially Lagos Jewelry. I still can't believe you find Lagos Jewelry at your TJ Maxx. It's just mind-boggling. Every time I see you and Don at TJ Maxx, it's like, I want to go there, TJ Maxx. Rayelle, I have a good I have a good Macy's. I love Macy's. Um, Cami's closet. I only buy at least at last act at Ma last act at Macy's. Me too. Why why not? If they're gonna reduce it down as that as far as they do on the last act, I'm buying it off the last act. I actually have a box right now next to me that's a last act item. The only thing about last act at Macy's is that it's final sale. Um, Don Les Couture, that's good rail. Most of them suck lately. I think it's because we're gearing. Rayel's asking what about wow, Lagos. That's good. I think the thing right now is the best for me as a shopaholic the best and person who used to work in the sales industry. My husband's cooking so you'll he'll hear water and stuff happening. Is that um, end of season sales are best um, and it's a gamble. It's always a gamble. How long do you wait before it sells out and they don't have it, right? Um, Cami says, I don't go go to Macy's much anymore. I just buy 90% of their clothes at teeth. Oh, buy 90% of Well, you're petite. You have a different, you have a different problem. You know, it's hard. It's, it, again, anything a, a below or above average is hard. Like the average wrist size, the average ring size is seven. The average wrist is six and a half to seven in women's, eight to nine in men's. The average, um, so that's why when you see a lot of jewelry in department stores, it's always going to be, oh, that's a size seven, because that's the average size. The average size size shoe in women's is eight. So if you're anywhere around the eight, you're going to either never find shoes or always find shoes because they have too many or they all sold out, or you're going to have a hard time buying the size six and you're gonna have a hard time buying the size or you'll have like a billion size tens or elevens because nobody's wearing those because between size seven and nine is the average lady's foot you know and they they also do average width of shoes average women's shoes are um if you have an average width it is i think considered a b width i am for reference in men's shoes and, and widths, I'm a double E or an E. In women's, that means I'm a double double W or a W. So what, how you fit shoes is um, the longer the shoe, the more width you get. So a lot of times people are wearing the wrong shoe because you need the width, not necessarily. that. That's why I can wear from a size eight and a half shoe to a size 11 shoe in women's. Depends completely on the cut. I mean, it's like, whew, shoes are actually, I'm surprised shoes aren't more expensive. They're already expensive, but as many sizes and assortments they have to carry, it's amazing they make 
I don't blame shoes costing $500. I mean, I don't have any, but I don't blame them. <laughs> um, Cami's Closet, I have a huge assortment of Gucci jewelry. Um, oh my goodness, your, your TJ has Gucci jewelry. Okay, well, here's the thing, Cami. Gucci jewelry is costume jewelry. If, if you're lucky, it's plated and thinly plated. Linda S., I hear people finding luggage jewelry and long chomp bags at TJ Maxx, and then I do go into an hour or more away from me and don't see any of those great brands. I do see I do see um, long chomp at our Marshalls, TJ Maxx's, stuff like that. Chess with Chris, I'm a quadruple E, so I know the struggle. $14.50 on top of that. That is very hard. Doc Martens for you, sir. Um my brother-in-law is in your in your speed and an only mail order. When you get to over a double E, when you're into the triple E, you have a very hard time finding a shoe. Um, what Gucci? Winnie B. Hey, oh hey, Winnie. Uh, that's fantastic. Donald's tour. I'm a six and a half six shoe, and they can yes, they can be very hard to find. And actually, the six six and a half shoe down here in Texas is hard to find because everybody coming up from Mexico buys them. And I'm not being like judgy or anything. It's just the way it is. My mother comes here and she can always find shoes because she's also in that, you know, six, seven range, more six, six and a half. Um, Chris mailed you something today. Uh, Don loves couture. Winnie, Winnie Highland S. Let's say hi. Uh, D says my TJ Maxx doesn't have long shop. Winnie BLV, Don. D Higginbotham, Winnie, S, five, five and a half. They're my first shoes. We sell out. Yes, they do. Hard for most common shoe size for women. I heard it's, it's six, six and a half. Not really. It's actually seven and eight. Um, but if you're of a certain um, area, it's common. Depend. So it's all about the averages. Um, Chess with Chris. We, I do see why I sell at TJ Maxx near me, but it's still like $900. Yeah. Cami's closet. Everything is too long on me. I can't get rings or bracelets easily. My wrist is five and a half. And you know, the best place for your rings and, and I have found great success and they take returns. And I'm sorry to say this is the real, real. My friend is a four and a half ring size and I've been able to buy her some amazing deals on the real, real because they have all those fours and four and a halves. You know, rings. No one else. I can't find them anywhere else. You know. Um, Rael. Everyone's saying hi. Um, whew. Everybody's saying hi. Don loves to No, Linda. They are not common. They just don't buy a lot of them. Winnie. Cammy, Are you. Are you petite? Uh, D says Cammy, My ring size is an eight. Which is. Pretty good. You can find seven and eights pretty easily. As I said, seven is the most common, which is why it's the most common stock size that you're going to find in a department store um, for rings. Cammy's closet. My foot is six. Ooh, bunions. That's that's, that's rough. Chris, I hope it's it'll be okay. It it's got patina. Whatever Chris sent, whatever Wendy sent, Chris has patina. Chris says, Winnie, I bought a new bag today. I think you'll approve. It's something you've owned before in a different... Okay, that doesn't help, Chris. You know how many bags Winnie has had? Linda S., I wear a size um, and always have problems finding shoes. Oh, it's always, shoes are a struggle. Uh, Winnie, I'm petite with a chance... <laughs> with a chance of meatballs. Yes. Um, Winnie B., oh my God, I can't wait to see it. Winnie B., Cammy, you slay. John says, Lagos only has size 7 in stores. So they have to order all other sizes. Yeah, because 7 is the common stock size because it's the most common ring size. I wear a size 9 ring or 10, sometimes 8 and a half. Um, I've gone through all the sizes. Um, Chaz with Chris and Winnie, if you want a sneak peek, I'll send you it on IG. Rael, I go to TJ. I go to a TJ's that has luxury. Winnie, oh geez, that new Speedy 18 sequence. <gasps> really? You love the new Speedy 18 in sequence? <gasps> I wasn't sure because that sequence, I think <gasps> that the um, Mr. Milo, sir, I think that the um, sequence <gasps> baguette <gasps> is prettier. And you don't even have a sequence baguette, Winnie, a small micro. I thought you did. Ooh, going to see. <laughs> oh, 
So D Higginbotham, I saw that one Winnie. It's a showstopper. Cam, it's good to know. I'll check the real real out. Yeah, really. The real real when it comes to jewelry, because I bought some Tiffany jewelry in size four, four and a half. A ring, gold, um, with diamonds, and it was like $125. This was a couple years ago, but it was a great deal. And they took returns. I bought another Tiffany bracelet from them. It didn't work for me, and I and I sent it back, and they were fine. It's only the bags that they say, no, no, we take no returns on bags. But jewelry, if you look at it, they'll say, yeah, we'll take a return. When you be, I do a long chomp sequin. Oh, yeah, you do. Have, okay, you have a long chomp sequin, not the... I thought you had the mini baguette. Why did I think that? The little... Maybe because we all want one. <laughs> Don wants to her coach has a sequence bag. I would rather spend coach money on that. Coach is getting pretty pricey, guys. I'm getting priced. Hey, if y'all like the um, soft tabby braided and the messenger braided, that new one they launched out, Macy's today, today has it on sale. Literally a couple hundred dollars off list. I was shocked. Shocked. Um. When he says, Chris Love, PSA, hey, hi, Jackie, and all. PSA, oh my gosh, your hobo obsession. You have me down the hobo. I have try not to go and obsess over hobo. I've been using hobo for years and years and years. I love their wallet so much. Their leather just gets softer and softer with age. And here y'all showing me the Sheila bag and I already have a shopping problem. I'm like, PSA, you and I got to go hang out on Van Island together. And like, no Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi, no ferry boats. <laughs> We'll drag Winnie with us. <laughs> um, PSA, well, I placed another order today. No, you did not. D, I am too hard on bags to have all the sequins. I um, I have, well, I wait. So I have like this one because look how pretty this is. I mean, look. Oh, this is what, this is, I like this more than sequins. I mean, look, the magpie in me. I just like, like, oh, look at the shine. Look at the shine. It's just so cool. Like, dun, 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 dun. And then look at this one. This is the other, this was the one Winnie, I got from Winnie. Like, look when it moves at night. Like, it's like a disco ball. It's just so pretty. I might have ordered another sparkly bag. It's in the mail. I just love this one. Um, and I love... I totally love this one. And it's just, the photos do not do these bags justice. The movement does. Movement does. So I can only imagine how pretty those actual sequence ones are. But, you know, I like, I like, I like this. And you know what? It costs $6. I think they're now up to $12. But when I got this one, I got it for $6. So I don't feel any guilt for having this useless sparkly bag <laughs> that I have never used. <laughs> I just play with it when I'm on my lives because of the ring light. The ring light just makes it look so pretty. <laughs> I am. Oh my goodness. It's, um, yeah. I love some. I, I have never been a sparkly bag person until I met Winnie and she showed the Simbano. And then I got, she gave me the, another white one that's in my, in my um bedroom. I just look at them and play with them and it's fun. Um, the real takes bags back if they are not as described and they are never as described. Well, <laughs> that's true, but at least with the jewelry on the real real, they outright will let you return it. Then you don't have to, you just have to say it doesn't work for you. You don't have to commit for life. You know, it's like, like when you spend six or seven grand on something, even a grand and a half guys, I should be able to say it doesn't work for me. I want to return it when you can't see it in person. You're looking at a video and we all know those videos, those photographs they use aren't that great. Um, D says, I just got a small Michael's course, small tote. Maybe I'll keep this one. Oh, oh, did you get like, okay. Michael Kors small tote. Which one? Does it have a name? Tell me if it has a name. Um, Cause I just bought. Okay, it's, it's um, Winnie and I are twinning. Um, I don't know who influenced whom. I blame her completely. <laughs> so we have the same bag. <laughs> it's it's and I don't like small tiny bags, but I couldn't resist it. And you know why? It's the shape. It's the shape because. Because it's a bowling shape, a bowling bag shape, this dome, because this dome lets you fit 
more stuff in here than if it was a square. Like, I have had camera bags this size that can't fit my phone. This fits my phone and my lipstick and my card case. I think this barely fit my wallet. <laughs> Um, this color is called Goldenrod, by the way. Jet Set Travel Extra Small. I love the Jet Set Travel Extra Small. Is it the one that has the coating that's kind of like um, leather trim? The uh, what's it called? And um, send me send me a photo, um, D on Instagram. Um, PSA like like my Sheila that dome did it for me too. Yeah, the dome bags deceptively when they're not narrow and triangular right they will fit more stuff this will fit a phone where some of my camera bags that are boxy don't and i'm just like why not you know where did i put this this goes up here so i have been moving stuff around looking through things reducing things um it's been i look at bags every day every single day and i tell myself you can't have them all. You can't rescue them all. But there are a couple. Where did I put that bag? I think I showed it the last live. Um, I think it's in here. A week's um, unboxing. This is a pale light blue. Um, it has some red um, marks on it. I'm going to practice and do some learn how to dye patent leather because I just want to try. Yoda! Hey, Yoda! We were talking to Miss Yoda's not feeling too great, guys, so she might not be here really long. She's getting over the dreaded plague, you know, the plague we can't see on YouTube, which leads me into my next topic. Okay, so why is why? Why can't you why can't YouTube help us content creators since we are creating content for their platform? Yes, they're hosting it. Yes, the, yes, the advertisers are paying them to advertise on this platform. I get it. Hosting is expensive. It's, it's, um, let's see. Cami says, absolutely everyone is entitled to return anything, no matter the price. No one should be committed to something they don't love or someone. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, I think the policy of, like, when you know you're buying, like, the last act and you are, are um, off Macy's, it says final sale, no returns. I get that. But I know that going in. I'm not going to the real real to buy a bag. And what, what happened was, on the real real, legit, I bought a bag that was a, is it Diane von Fursten, Furstenberg? This is several years ago. And it was a beautiful royal blue croc mock croc embossed beautiful beautiful clutch shoulder bag they did not disclose that there it was made at the time when people were using palm pilot so there was a tech component to snap your palm pilot in there which of course I didn't use and I didn't disclose and it was all sales final I couldn't even tell them um, hey, you didn't tell me that this had this, you know, so it's like, whatever. So anyway, um, Winnie B, go drag Autumn in here. <laughs> D says, yo, ta. Riel says, go get, go get well soon, yo, ta. Dawn is early for Autumn. Oh yeah, because she's on the West Coast. So it's what, six o'clock in the evening. They're probably just having dinner. Um, yo, ta. D. So let me get back to talking about YouTube. So I was watching, if y'all missed it, um, Amelia Rose did a video today on one of her videos was removed from, from by YouTube without a warning, no strike. It wasn't a strike. She, they just removed the video, sent her an email. And basically it says, hey, this goes against our terms of, of community guidelines. This nebulous version, our term of called community guidelines. So I'm like, hmm. I've been down the community guideline rabbit hole of trying to find actually what the guidelines are. Because I'm like, every time I listen to Super Jacob, I've talked to Winnie, I've talked to Yoda, I've talked to Dial M, Dial Style, and I always get her name wrong, Michelle, okay? Michelle, she had a huge issue. Um, things happened, right? Um, and I hear it from my other YouTube friends. They're like, oh, um, <laughs> Yoda, Yoda, I can talk to air. 
believe me, James is thrilled that I found y'all to talk to. Thrilled. Because this used to be me talking to him. We work together. We live together. We commute together. We've been married for 16 years. He's tired of it. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, so we're, we're listening to the thing about YouTube is like, so Amelia's video that she did, and I watched this video when it, when it went out, when she went to Buda, was it Budapest, Budapest, when she was in, was it Hungary? I think it was Hungary. She was in Budapest. I'm pretty sure she was in Budapest. Um, well, she, she was shocked and floored at how many the dreaded counterfeit word that you were seeing everywhere. Like in the hotel um, retail space, there was a store selling obvious counterfeits. It wasn't like hidden. It wasn't in the back corner. It wasn't like on a street corner or on a tarp on the sidewalk. It was in the hotel retail you know, store. And so she had shown it as part of her, her, um, her travel vlog, right? And then YouTube said, we we took this down because it's against our community guidelines. We, we don't think you did this intentionally, so we, we didn't strike you and you're not, you know, anything. So she went and redid the video without the footage of these items, right? So I'm like, what the heck? It's like, the, okay, so they changed the, um, a rule in August and they kind of didn't really tell you. They said, oh, we, before August they let you have replicas. And then after August, they said, no, 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 we don't even show replicas now. And you can't, you can't show this because I mean, legit, I was being bombarded on, on, um, on all my YouTube feeds for the gate, the gate, the gate, the gate. It's like, how many times do I have to see? Um, I had people that were, they had, I mean, thousands of followers, not, not my under a thousand, not, like a hundred thousand followers. There's this, this so what was her, I can't remember her name. Something seriously SJ. She was a content creator only about the gate, you know? Yeah, so witty, yeah. Private all assess videos. You can't even do um turkey. Yeah, it was turkey, not hungry. Turkey. You can't even do um educational videos because you can but you can't show it you can but you can't explain how you find it or buy it um i think on a daily basis daily basis on my instagram i am deleting private accounts that friend me who want to be like oh this is from and as soon as i hear private account luxury images on their post based in dubai block every time um Kane's calls what happened oh my god alex from hrh is a lunatic and she never gets bent i know so it's basically um so what i'm talking about with youtube is like i got this uh survey from my studio and it says hey can you um rate your experience as a content creator on um youtube like about what and I said, you are not helpful, YouTube. I literally said this. I, I wrote in the other. I said, look, you keep saying, if you want to help me, give me a platform within YouTube to make thumbnails. Why do I have to go to another platform to make thumbnails when you, it, I shouldn't have to do that. I have people, it's ridiculous. And then you tell me it's against community guidelines and nebulous community guidelines because I have gone down the rabbit hole. I have gone click, 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 type in community guidelines and keep going down the rabbit hole. Like, what are the words I can't say? What is the content you don't want? What is going to get me banned? Everything I have is a rumor. A rumor. Um, uh, Super Jacob did a video. It says, if you say this within the first 12 minutes of the first I don't know, 10 seconds or whatever, you're going to get a uh, flag by bots because it's a bots doing keyword searches, right? So they hear this word, they're going to know. It's not people. It's all an algorithm, right? They're filled. People cannot go through the content they're going through. It, it's all computer programming. So what is it? Like, what do, um, let me see, let me catch up on the chats real quick. I used to talk to Keith about bags and he would say, don't you have any girlfriends you can talk about this crap? Yes. Yes. Uh, James is tired of hearing about bags. Cammy, uh, Yoda says, Cammy, the next R H R H, um, Cammy. Oh, regarding the taboo. Yeah. F word. I don't. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I don't, you can't say the plague word. You can't say you know, counterfeit in, in any variation. You can't say people who, I listen to true crime, true crime, there's a whole list of words you can't even 
say out loud, they're using um, like S-A, if you know what that means. And the word uh, corn that rhymes with another thing that starts with a P and ends with an N, uh, you know, N, I mean, because they just, it's like, you can't say these words. Um, Yoda, uh, Jackie is almost at a hunt one a thousand yes i'm almost at a thousand subs i am terrified i do not know what that means <laughs> gee he can bot them sometimes something needs to be done about the bots yeah um don was couture i get a lot of bots commenting in videos i remove them and they keep coming back and it's the same bots and they say and sometimes i reported something and it says it's not against community guidelines but it's in like if you do report unwanted solicitation or spam it's still visible to the person who subscribes it but it I have to do it every day. And it's the same three brands. It's like, guys, and it's under fake, fake names, fake profiles. It's like, guys, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, Don loves couture. You say, co, co, yeah, C word. You can't talk about conspiracy um, treatment or talk about conspiracies. Um, unless I'm alive or someone who has, um, I don't know what that is. Um, yes, I don't understand how the unalive thing either. I, I don't know how that can be uh, the other alternative to unalive, the physical act of being unalive, how that is something that's going to get you kicked out. And there's that's not written anywhere. I, I mean, I've looked everywhere. And it's just like people's experience as other content creators. Like how are you supposed to grow a platform if you don't even know what you can and cannot say? And that retrospectively, they go back to your archives and remove your remove your content. So Amelia had to redo her video because she filmed on her vlog at her vacation something that was happening in the world. You know, it's like, I don't know what um, Chris is. My husband is sick of hearing about my backs. Yes. Cammy's Chris. So is mine. Yep. Yoda. Hi, Chris. Mine too. Winnie. Chris. I'm I'm not babes. Linda S. Linda S. Murder backwards is Oh, oh, shoot. I shouldn't have said that out loud. Um, is, oh, that one I hadn't realized. Okay. So many code words. Um, Yoda style. Keith knows more about LV than he cares to admit. Yep. D. Higabotham. Oh, red. Okay. Um, Bill is tired of paying for them. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I legit promised James I would not be buying any more um, LV. Um, because it's so expensive. It's just, I, because I can't just buy one thing. I can't just buy one bag. I can't just buy one thing a year. Financially, I can't, we can't buy them. I can't even buy them pre-loved anymore. Uh, for instance, I think can, um, Candy, Sweet Love for LV, she has a vintage, oh my gosh, gorgeous, Danye Abin, um bag I wish I could buy for $600. Can't buy it. Right now, the speaking of things I can't afford, the um, what do you call it? Coach, the the new, uh, the Coach Outlet Disney Collection. Now, guys, I know this is just a way of the world, and my beef is my beef. Is this is Jackie rant? Um, the Disney Collection is beautiful, but it mirrors too much the collection they launched last year the only difference was the collection they did last year was in the retail boutique and it had mickey the castle i think donald and goofy right so it had more characters on it and today a year later the outlet a year in a little bit the outlet comes out with the same jacquard lining fabric um with just Mickey on it, which looks so similar to the Gucci collab that they did with Mickey. I'm like, y'all. And then, so you're telling me, so, so with the Surf and Mint at the boutique, a year later, not even a year later, they go do the Coach and Mint. They 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 left out Surf on the collab at Coach. Then they did the Disney. They've done different variations of Disney collabs with boutique and outlet. The difference normally is it's normally extremely distinctive. Normally, when you do an outlet Disney, it was before it was like the villains. And then they did a recently, they just did a outlet, not outlet, boutique Disney collab, and it was the garden, right? And then now they're doing another outlet. So, and then, okay, so all y'all who bought the Wesselman at the boutique. 
the the scuttlebutt and the rumor is, and I got this from I think the Coach Gone Rogue page on Facebook, is that they're doing an outlet Wesselman. I'm like, are you kidding me? Wait. I'm like, what the heck? Um, like if you spent the money they were charging for Wesselman, and and I know a bunch of people did. I actually think Autumn did, um, bought some of the Wesselman pieces. Now they're coming out with Wesselman in the outlet. Now this is just allegedly the rumors, but so far Coach Gone Rogue Facebook site. I don't know who these super sleuths are and what connections they have, but it seems like Asia gets the drop before America, even if it's an American brand, right? Those Disney bags are cute. D, I agree with you. Those Disney bags are adorable. But okay, so guys, this bag is up for sale if anybody wants one. Um, Rayel says, I haven't been in a coach store since summer. I need a better coach store near me. Dawn says, they did it with Boscat and Mitten Surf. Yeah, they keep doing it. Um, this is the um, Dempsey um, outlet bag. So when I bought this bag... It was two twenty five outlet price, right? Yes, Winnie, you did buy the Wesselman because I wanted to buy that tote from you, and you gave it to your daughter in law. <laughs> yes, I, I remember it was that giant tote that hit you on the head <laughs> with the lips. That's the Wesselman, um, allegedly <laughs> for entertainment purposes only, and just my opinion. <laughs> Everything I say is just my opinion and alleged. Um, so, hey, Jolie. Um, so, this bag is for sale for $220 if anybody wants it. This is how much it cost at launch. I'm not upselling it, but I am selling it for how much I paid for it. Here's the thing. The new version of the Mickey Mouse one that's out with Disney right now at the outlet. Same Dempsey, same size, same, just Mickey. And I realize everybody has licensing. They had to pay Snoopy license. Mickey has to pay Mickey license. There's a license. The new one is 270 something dollars at launch. This is 225. It went up by $50 in a year. Not even a year. This came out last December, last fall. It wasn't in December, it was fall, Christmas time. Um, Jackie, I think I bought the Wesselman. Dawn says you did it with the mouth tote. Rael, hey Jolie, D says, oh, that guy. Chris says, Rael, I have to have, I've had a good luck with Coach inside of Macy's. Yes, Macy's is not afraid to put things on sale. I go to Macy's a lot for Coach. Um, Winnie BLV, oh my god, yes, Winnie BLV, that thing was huge. Yes, it was. That West Motel was huge. Does your daughter-in-law like it? That's what I want to know. Uh, Don loves the tour. It was huge. Rayel says, that's true, Chris. I forgot about Macy's. Mine is good with Coach. I just go, I just go there. He says, I won't touch it. So anyway, um, whew, it's it's everything keeps going up like coaches coach outlet it goes into the store and then two weeks it's on sale and then four weeks it's on to clearance every time it's like i've been watching it like a hawk I, I i have an unhealthy obsession with checking the website real the coach store near me near my house is in a casino well that's not cool a Winnie B. I have seen her carrying it with the kids stuff in there. <laughs> Rayel, I hate its location. It isn't easy to get in and out. I buy everything online. I don't go anywhere. Came Cammy's closet. Rayel, kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, no. So well, the thing, like, oh no, I hate casinos. People smoke in them, and it, the smoke kills me. If they could be smoke-free, which people aren't going to casinos, they're going to casinos to indulge in vices, so smoking, drinking, gambling. You, they're not going to not smoke in there. They're they're all filled with smoke. Um, um, Dawn says, Rayel, I haven't been to that casino yet. Um, Dawn wants to tour my casino. It's not smoking. That's amazing because the ones that I've been to in Louisiana sure as heck are. They like smoke you right, right out of the blackjack. Well, I don't play. I don't gamble. I already gamble enough with shopping. I don't need to give my money away. I don't find it fun. You know, I'm not, it's not fun. 
Same here. It's no smoking in Oregon casinos. Wow. Not in Louisiana. Um, Rayelle says, I hate getting carded just to go to coach. They card you? That's that's pretty cute. <laughs> I haven't been carded in a long time. <laughs> but they might have to just by law. <sighs> Dawn says, I miss I, I miss getting carded. Cammy says, carded? How old are you? <laughs> well, sometimes casinos, they just have to. I would imagine. Because um, have you seen some 14-year-olds? They look like 20-year-olds. Um, D. I have a coach near me. However, I have I have to to go to the outlet. Yeah, I actually live closer to a coach outlet than to a coach retail boutique. Um, Real looks so young. Yeah, I've seen her photos on Instagram. She does look young. Um, PA casinos have a smoking section. I get carded when I was thirty six. But to buy cigarettes in Brooklyn, <laughs> Don was tour not at Park X. Lu uh, Linda S, thirty five miles south of um, Portland, not too far from Autumn. I told her I was going to look for her. That's so cool. Um, <laughs> band. Let's see, Chet Chris. I didn't get carded for my tattoo. I didn't get carded for my tattoo the other day, and I felt old. <laughs> What tattoo did you get, Chris? Did you add something or did you just touch something up? Luxational. I still get carded. I'm barely five five foot. Dawn says, wow, Linda, you are close. Rael, PA is crazy. And the casinos with carding. Winnie, oh my God, that's so cool. You guys are neighbors. Yeah, I mean, that's close. Um, do you guys watch, I don't know if you guys watch Chi. Um, he went to Portland and he bought a bunch of totes. His tote collection is amazing. Oh, and if somebody knows, tell me, explain to me what beef totes Gene has with Coach. Because he says he has a history. He has that he's having, he's not happy with, with Coach. And he, um, but he has like three of the most beautiful rogues I've ever seen, you know, uh, which I think he has for sale. But I got a UFO tattoo. That's awesome, Chris. Um, G says, I wasn't carded with carded when I was young enough to be carded. Um, Chris says, I did a short video on it for you. Want to see. Depends on where that UFO is because Chris, your Instagram is not safe for work. I worry. <laughs> I, I see you follow me, but I cannot follow you since I look at my Instagram at the office. You are, you should have like a warning, not safe for work. <laughs> you skirt those guidelines, sir. But anyway, yeah, so I have a little bit of a beef with um with coach. Just a tiny one. I still love coach. Um I Linda S, I saw your video, but your finds at the flea market, Chris. Super cool finds. I didn't see that one yet. I'm actually I haven't seen Dee Dee's video yet today. Um I get the notifications and then YouTube again. Things are getting lost. Like, I'll go back and look for, you know, Dee Dee, and I won't even see it again. Like, the other day, I missed another video from um, Veronica. I'm like, what the heck? And I'm like, I want all the, I want, I watch a lot of content, but it's like that just gets lost. Like, I can't even trust my studio. Like, I can't trust my notifications for commenting. I have to go to my studio to go to comments I haven't responded to because things just they're not, the algorithm is not being happy, you know? Rayel, I saw the flea market finds too. I love flea markets. Chris, thank you, Linda. I'm happy to be back thrifting. I used to thrift all the time before the, yeah, the dreaded plague. Um, Cammy's closet, Chris, cool tat, Rayel. Yeah, notifications get turned off. Yeah, like, and I like how, um, hey, Jolie, also with Dee Dee, like, her, she only, she is right under 300 subs, and she keeps losing subs, and that's happened to me, too. It's like, I'm like, what the heck? It's not people unsubscribing for some reason. Right now, the algorithm likes me. Um, otherwise, I don't 
I don't get it. I don't understand YouTube. Here I am on this platform trying to create content for people just for fun because I like it. It's my hobby. You are my creative outlet and it's fun. Y'all have helped me. I've met some of the coolest, nicest people ever. Um, oh, speaking of meeting people, all the folks who are watching, if you're in the Florida area, I am going to be in Orlando in a couple weeks. And yes, yeah, so you can do a meetup. Email me. Um, I can meet you at a coffee shop. I'm not scary. I promise. I love coffee. And I'll do, you know, it's cool. I'm going to meet Jolie. We're going to meet, we're hanging out. We're spending like a whole day together, I think. Um, Rayelle says, yeah, I don't get it at all. Yeah, I don't understand. Um, Jolie says, some dude thinks I've been trolling his channel. So weird leaving strange. Oh, I need to talk about strange comments too. Don looks to her. I don't know how Dee Dee doesn't have more subs. I don't know either. Okay. She does sit a little too far from the camera. It's hard to see her. That is true. But she has such good content. Um, she has Chris, and she edits. I don't even edit. I, I'm gonna have to learn to do more edits. But I made a video about Beyonce the other week, and it made my su subscribers drop. I, I don't. I don't get it. I don't. Um, the algorithm is is going to loosen. It has to. Um, love her videos. I love DD Kids Closet. I don't always get notified for videos that I'm probably mentioned and I'm, I'm pretty sure um i love dd yeah she should have more she should have more subs i don't understand she's just not getting pushed and she's consistent too so everybody says here the mist the mist where is dd i am probably right at her dinner time she has had a lot of events this is like the month of events for her she has all these birthdays all these grandbabies and events to do she's probably asleep she'll catch this on the replay um, I noticed when, it, when someone told me they didn't get my notifications. Yeah, some, oh, oh you know what, Brian, um, he never gets my notifications. I text him like, hey, you know, he doesn't, he never, he never gets any, any of my notifications of any of my videos. And he pretty much watches all of them. I don't get it. Um, can, oh, he described two. Hire a, hire a guy. <laughs> if I get another email about, I can help your YouTube bro. I'm like, dude, y'all, unless you are working for YouTube, don't talk to me. Because YouTube knows what YouTube's doing. You guys are just guessing. <laughs> but I have to ask everybody, like, how do you, is this legit? Like, what's, what's, what's up with this? Like, why is this doing this? And why is that? Apparently, I can tell you this. YouTube likes my shorts when I do them. They love my lives. My lives get the most views out of all of the things. And it's not like there's a whole lot of people in my lives, you know. But once the live is finished, um, it will show how many people wandered in and out. And it's a lot. And then as the week goes on, um, people watch more, you know. Thank you. I love lives. You guys are the most fun. You guys are, if it wasn't for you guys interacting with me, the lives would be so boring. You're way more fun than, than um, doing reviews or bags or anything because... Um, I get to talk to you guys about things I love and about YouTube, you know, I'm the queen of editing. I can't, I don't mind the editing, but my software is free. So it's not that great. The problem I have with editing, which is why I say I hate editing is the processing time. When I slice and dice a video and add more video to video, add images, add whatever to process that to export, it's like, what the heck? It is so much faster to do a one take wonder and load it up. It's it still takes time to upload. Uploads always take time, but man, to edit process is like. And I'm on a very fancy computer. This is my husband's gaming computer. I actually told him, "Hey, maybe we should get a computer for me so I don't steal your gaming computer and his streaming equipment and his." I basically have stolen all of his equipment. <laughs> He's like, Jackie, the reason why your lives and your videos are so good is because of the processor that is in this computer. You really don't want a different one. <laughs> so I think what might be happening is after the vacation and after we recover financially, he might be buying himself another gaming computer. <laughs> um, it's very uh, laid back here. I feel like I'm sitting in your dining table just shooting the breeze yeah this well you're sitting in my living room <laughs> um when you're signing over there you're singing you're singing over there d exactly linda s jolie i'm 
singing to you. <laughs> the um the thing with um me, my friends, my friends in real life have told me, oh, I like watching your videos. It feels like we're just having a conversation. I'm like, yeah, which is why I still don't understand why my family isn't here. Like my sister legit called me two minutes before I went live and I told her, Jenny, I'm going live on YouTube. I'll call you when I'm done. It's going to be a few hours. She's like, okay. She didn't say, oh, let me go when you're live with you. No. She's just like, uh-uh. She's like, I, Jen, Jen, Jen is Jen. Um, you guys are way more fun to talk. She also is not a bag fanatic. So for her talking about bags, is like, yawn. It's like, Jen, you love all these bags. You have me. I have hundreds of bags. Why don't you just borrow one of my bags? Because my sister, classic Jennifer mode, gets attached to things. She cannot let go. She cannot return. She must keep forever. Um, so she can't borrow anything. Cammy, Chris says, Cammy, I love that you don't edit. I try and keep my editing natural so I come off as real like you. Well, I, I think um, I do like an edited video, but there is such a thing as too edited. Um, Caleb's are really edited. I almost feel like I'm watching infomercials um, or just commercials. I mean, they're beautiful. The landscapes are beautiful, but there's so much editing. That it's like, hmm. And I, oh guys, I'll tell you the truth. I hate premiered videos. I hate them. I hate them so much. I don't want to say, oh, it premieres at 4 o'clock. And what that really means is you get there at 4. You wait 30 minutes because it's really 4.30. And then once it starts at 4.30, there's still a lag time. And then most of the time, half the time people set premieres. They're not actually in the live chat. So why did you set a premiere? It's just like, just throw out the video. You know, if you're you're throwing out a premiere to build up an audience, I understand for lives why people do it. Totally get it. I absolutely get it. Super Jacob has like hundreds of people showing up. I get it. But I also know uh, Super Jacob's lives. I don't show up until thirty minutes after the list time <laughs> because it's like I'm like you know I don't spend a lot of time in the chats at Super Jacob's. I listen more than I read and type. I can't. Don says I don't edit ninety percent of the time. Um, Cammy's closet. Thanks, Chris. It's not deliberate. I just have an ancient computer and don't want to spend the money on a better one. I, it's painful to spend money on a better computer. And you know what's really painful? This computer came with a limited time trial for Windows 365 because they lease these things now. Um, it just ran out. So I don't have Windows, or not Windows, sorry, Word. I don't have Word right now. I'm like, what? No Word? You know? So now I'm like, oh. it's like, it's so far. I'm like, I'm not going to pay for a subscription to write one document. I just opened up my Google email and just wrote whatever I needed to and printed it. D says, Jacob's intros go on forever. Jacob's intros go on for like a millennium. I'm like, <sighs> another Sometimes it's 45 minutes. I missed the beginning of a lot of his his stuff because I'm just I don't go in till later. Um Cammy, I think about what you said and how the old techno technology is more flattering. Today my video was in high definition and wrinkles have never looked so prominent. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the other thing I wanted to talk about um is a religion update so those who don't like religion just you know i'm sorry but it's part of my life and some things have happened in my church life and comment comments um linda s i actually stayed up for this live on saturday on his oh for his live on saturday ended up at 10 30 my time which is early for him yeah that is early for him it was like 2 a.m for me um so my thing about religion is i'm I think the worst thing I have ever done in my Christian journey, faith or whatever, is read the New Testament front to back. I am almost finished of a 90 day read through the, the New Testament. So I'm like day 70 something. And I've never read the Bible like from the New Testament from front to back before. Just like the way you normally get it in church or whatever. So as I'm going through it, so much stuff is yelling at me and in a couple of my when I was giving people updates about my uh, church life one of the comments that came through today 
really bugged me. Just so bugged me. And I had to let it go. And I had to go back and read it again. And I try to respond to every comment, not just the heart, because there's not that many people who really comment. So I'm, I'm more than happy to respond. Um, I, I mean, I don't have a thousand subs yet. So it would say, uh, so the, one of the things somebody wrote was our belief, our belief should be based on God's word, not man's. And this is one of those, this is controversial. This is absolutely controversial. Um, this is one of those things that always bugs me about when people talk about the Bible in any form, in any version, in any, anything. It's like, it should, because our belief, when she also says our belief, parentheses, not parentheses, but um, she bracketed with some, um, dogma essentially because we're talking about religion you know right uh was it should be based on god's word not man's and i'm like look at that as a secular person and just think about those words language is a construct <laughs> right how we communicate so for me it drove me crazy so many people Tell me, well, it's the word of God. Yes, translated by people through thousands of years, written down. Who knows what we've lost? Said, well, this is this is the word of God. I'm like, that's great. How many other words of God have we not recorded? Hey, Yoda. Um, so it just bugged me because this is one of those bones. So as a person who was raised Buddhist, who became a Christian, this is one of those sticky points. This is this very sticky point. Um, so, and the other thing that happened, now this is, this, this happened from a real life person, guys, real life. Chris says, I'm not even that religious, but someone asked me to stop wearing my cross. Um, really? That's ridiculous. But okay, so this is from a comment from a person I know in real life who was a person who invited me to do the 90 day um, read through the New Testament. Right. And he wrote this and I am trying to still be friends. <laughs> and it's not it's not what he said. So people ask me, how are how are you liking reading the New Testament? And I said, I really don't like Paul. I just am not a fan of Paul. And I just leave it at that. Right. And I says, I'm on day 70, whatever. And I'm, I'm just not a fan of Paul. So what he finally, what he wrote me back was a long paragraph. And part of it was, he says, look at it. God is speaking through him. God's words, not Paul's. Jesus speaking through Paul. Basically, he's, and I'm like, did he ask me, Jackie, why are you upset with Paul? No. Did he, did he, act? because I think, I think he kind of knew. Most people who have read the New Testament, we know who Paul is. We know his story. He wrote a lot of the New Testament, right? So when I say I don't like Paul, and I just leave it at that to be polite and nice and move on. Um, um, when you be, it's rare for Buddhists to, yeah, Christianity usually is the other way around. Yes. Um, he wasn't interested. Um true any well the thing the thing was he didn't care why i didn't i had a problem with paul uh, we're talking about the paul the one who wrote Corinth, uh, the letters to the uh, corinthians the paul paul saul who became paul and um that man and i and, and it's not what he said right so people what's well, the word of god i think paul's writings have caused so many misinterpretations of everything because if you look at them literally which people like to do um like, this is the word of God. Well, Paul likes to contradict himself because Paul is a one-sided conversation of mostly letters to a congregation somewhere else. It's one, you know how many one-sided, how many one-sided conversations have you guys had where you got it right? I haven't had very many, if any. Um, Sherry, um, hi, I'm. Hi to all you, my YouTubers, Don, Winnie. Hey, Sherry, thanks for showing up. Um, we're You came right in the middle of religious talk. I'm sorry. I try to leave it way to the back of the, but it's been bugging me. I have had a couple comments because I do talk religion. Um, 
D says, Paul is the master of the run-on sentence. He is not my favorite either. I prefer the book of Luke. Yes, but when I say this to my friend who's trying, I, I, I swear he's trying to get me to go to his church or something. Um, he's just like, he's like, well, you should look at it this way. And what is God trying to tell you through Paul? Um, oh, James cooked dinner. What do you want me to do? Taste, Taste it? it. Is it? It's a little salty. You might want to add some water. But if you like it, mm -hmm. then it's fine. Okay. Um, you know you like things saltier than I do. Mm -hmm. So I think your mom will like that. She also likes salt. Um, so it's just one of those. I like Luke and Matthew personally. Yes. I don't know these people. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes, Cammy. Um, it is okay. Um, but, and, and that's the other thing. And it's interesting because I have friends, because I'm, I was raised Buddhist, we had a lot of friends. And actually, where I was growing up in um, San Antonio, we have a lot of Jewish, a lot of Jewish people in San Antonio. And some of my, my sister's best friend is Jewish, and she has to, you had to learn Hebrew. She also teaches Hebrew. Um, a lot of the grocery stores are, you know, kosher. There's lots of, there's a good community there. And, and one of the places, that was next to the church I went to was one of their temples and it was really pretty. Um, but anyway, um, the thing is there's a lot out there and it just really bugs me that everybody uh, is trying to tell me um, in comments, well, just read the Bible and listen to what God says. Like I am reading the Bible. You told me to read the new Testament from front to back. And it's the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> it's just like, I liked it better when it was a scatter shot. So I was like, whatever. Um, Dawn says, yes, the San Antonio has a big Jewish community. Yeah. Huge. Um, my husband, is my, um, uh, Chris is my husband is Jewish. My, my, um, like I tell people all the time, Jesus was Jewish. <laughs> but people get really cranky. If you say that, like I am, I'm so happy I'm not monetized because right now I'm pretty sure this video would be demonetized. It'd be like, excuse me. <laughs> like, we can't talk about this. <laughs> um, yeah, some people cannot be objective about the Bible. And some people get really angry. Um, I mean, and it's in the news right now. There's a lot of stuff happening, which we're not going to talk about because this is a fun podcast. And yes, world events are scary, but it's, it's just like it's part of life. And my Don growing up in Philly, yes. Um, Linda S., you can't talk about religion on YouTube. I think you can talk about it. Uh, and I'm not, I don't know if they're being sarcastic or literal, Linda, but um, you get a lot of. There's a, um, a YouTuber I watch who talks about conspiracies, essentially, is a true crime. And he's actually Jewish, but he was a reporter, like a journalist by. By um, by um, education and tra and he he went to YouTube because well we know what happened in journalism, and he is ethnically Jewish and he says every single time he talks about it on his YouTube platform and he has thousands and thousands of subscribers he loses thousands of subscribers like he has over a hundred thousand I don't even know his name's Andrew something um because people get angry about it. People get angry if you talk about religion, even if you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so if you talk about Christianity, it's a little bit more acceptable because we're in America and my audience is mostly American. But um, yeah, the world events usually are scary. It's always has been, always will be. It, exactly. You know, my mom, as you know, all know, my mom's living in, lives in Denmark. And then in next month, she's going to Thailand. And oftentimes... The easiest flight um, is uh, through the Middle East. She goes through Dubai all the time, right? And she takes quick Qatar Air. And um, it, it's very, and if Klaus, Klaus as a diplomat, he was offered several postings as an ambassador, but you have to go through a hardship ambassadorship first. And that hardship ambassadorship means you're going to a country that is, um, you can't take your family with you. You have to go by yourself for one year. And the places that they mentioned are kind of high risk areas, right? These are not the, these are not, the, we're not talking about, oh, let's go have you 
go to the you know Washington Embassy for De for Denmark. No, no, we're talking about you're going to go to the embassy that we have in South you know Africa during a time of conflict, or the one that's in Egypt during a time of conflict. Um, so he didn't do a lot of those things. And my mother's always telling him, Jackie, you must travel. You must leave America. You're always in America. You are. You'll be so narrow-minded if you stay in America. And I'm like, mother. I said, I understand that. But for you to leave Denmark, you drive three hours. <laughs> it's like, and you get to go to all these other countries. I said, for me, the closest I can go is to Mexico, which is three hours. It takes me eight hours just to go to New Mexico. <laughs> so, so it's not like it's easy to get places. We have Mexico and we have Canada. <laughs> Like, but my mother's like, you're just Americans and you're so narrow minded. I'm like, yes, mom, mom, you're also American. <laughs> she's like, yeah, because she's, she's an American citizen. But she always likes to tell me, you just need to travel more. I'm like, yes, mom. Um, when he says, when you get monetized, all you reviews will be monetized. It turns. If you turn it on, well, this one might get demonetized if I turn on the monetization. <laughs> um, Winnie, I'll never get monetized. Chess. You know, you just, I don't understand the YouTube algorithm. I don't understand anything about how to grow a channel. It. I am just lucky y'all hang out with me. Um, I enjoy talking to you, and that's it. You know, like like these other. Okay, guys, I'm asking a favor from all my my peeps. Y'all are my peeps. If I ever become those you to that YouTuber that that gets all into YouTube land where I'm not being real anymore, please tell me. Because what happens is people do this if they stop liking the content instead of actually talking to the creator, they'll just like go away. They'll like ghost and leave. And it's like, no, no, please, please tell me. <laughs> I'm leaving again. Bye, Yoda. Yes, you will. Put it in. Don't look other people's numbers. Oh, I don't look at other... Yeah, Chris, don't look at other people's numbers. Don't compare yourself. I'll just give you... Oh, Dee Dee, yay! Um, yeah, hell yes, I made the ending grand death. But see, I told you birthday parties. They asked where you were, Dee Dee, and I said she has so many events right now. Uh, we were talking, Dee Dee, about YouTube and how we don't understand how you don't have more subs, but we're talking about people aren't getting notifications, people aren't being showcased i don't we don't understand the algorithm you know i have to get ready for bed office tomorrow bye don have a great evening um i am still waiting and, and i guys i've been following meredith and dale's journey to to on their vacations and i want to know what they bought in hermes i think like they they're it's like guys Please, just show me what you bought in Hermes. I, first of all, because I never thought Dale would buy anything in Hermes. I know Meredith buys stuff at Hermes, but she she buys silks. And I didn't think she, and, and perfume, I didn't think she actually had, did she, does Meredith have Hermes bags? I didn't think she did. Um, Cammy, I have to go to sleep up at 3 a.m. Ooh, okay. Good night, Cammy. Um, Rael, good night, Dawn. Good night, yeah. So, yeah, bye, guys. Um, so, Question. Yeah, hon. Are you going to have the onigiri tonight? Yes, I'm going to have a little bit of soup too. Okay. But probably, you know, probably be on for another half hour. Okay. Yeah. See you in 12 hours. <laughs> I said half hour, not 12 hours. James is, James is like, you talk a lot. I'm like, yeah, I was really tired. I didn't know if I was going to talk to you guys at all. I've been sick the last, um, I've been sick since last Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, pretty much home. And then, um, Meredith has several cameras. Like, does she D? I I've never seen her. I, she must. I mean, I've watched all her videos that I since I've been watching her, but I didn't. She always talks about um, Bendy and her love of LV. I didn't think she had Hermes bags. Chats with Chris. Meredith has several high dollar Hermes bags. Oh, good night, Don. Um, if I ever was fortunate enough and had the dollars, I would buy a Bolide. That's the one I want. I like because I like a dome bag. But you know, I've never even been into an Hermes store. I've never seen an Hermes or touched a real one. Like, okay, I had a garden party, that old one from like you know the Amazonian garden party 
but that's not the same as everybody talks about the leather because the Amazonian is buffalo leather, which they don't use on their other leather bags. And it had an Amazonian coating on canvas. So it wasn't really an Hermes, like whenever they talk about these leathers, I'm like, what does that feel like? Mm -hmm. Oh, Chris. Yeah. Meredith in, in life is a high roller. <laughs> Meredith in life is, is like, wow. Like, like we don't, and she's so she's so approachable, you know. Cami's closet algorithm unbox fourteen Louis Vuittons a week and you'll grow. Um, there might be some truth to that. I'm a non the luxury channel, and I'm just I have actually found quite a few people who have found me because I'm talking about things that are not just all Louis. Meredith has about four hundred four hundred bags. I believe that. I actually am not sure I like her new studio setup. I liked the old shelves. I mean, I like the look of the new setup, but I like the um, realness of her um, kind of warehouse shelving. <laughs> um, oh, you know, and another person I love watching that doesn't have, I mean, she doesn't, she, her channel's biggish, but not huge, is uh, um, Romina Rose May. I love her vlogs. So she just did a New York vlog. Oh man, she showed the inside of um fashion file. I was like, whoa. Wouldn't he be I'm fine with my channel? It's fun. I make a few bucks and I get around to be around people like yes. Yes, I agree. D, I love Romina. Yes. Romina is like she's so much fun and her husband is so cute. And he's on the videos too, like on this last New York vlog. Um and Romina, I don't know, she has, she truly loves luxury, and I keep waiting for the video, like, please, did you get that snake, the, she loves bul Bulgari, the snake bag that she wants it in this green color, she was talking about it, that they didn't have it in Europe, in London, where she was, but she was going to New York, and they had, like, 19, like, did you get your bag? It's like, I just want to know, <laughs> um, Julie, that's nice when he, my shelves are no longer behind me. Um, I'm fine with the channel. I I am, I don't know. I, I mean, this is why I have my favorite bags next to me. And I have my husband's favorite toys over there because I think they're fun. I think your, your channel should be about fun. I never want to be so polished that I become like, I'm not going to be Cassie Thorpe. I love Cassie Thorpe. I love watching her videos. I watch all her videos. But I will never be that. <laughs> and I don't want to be that. I think there's room for everybody. Um, I just enjoy watching her. <laughs> when he says, you're smart to change it up, Jolie. Uh, when he says, it's rubber. I don't know what rubber is. I mean, I know what rubber is. But, I mean, are you saying your shelves are rubber? Jolie filming again tomorrow. They just don't fit how I had the place. Oh, okay. So I do have, um, would you like to see a, another unboxing? I know I've waited till the very end, but I have, if I could find the right package, I have um, a dream bag and I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Um, D says, Cassie's a blast. She gets so excited. Oh, I love Cassie. I like her best friend, too. She makes me want to visit New York. Legit wants me to visit New York. Let's see. Um, let me see if I can find which package this is. Because I really want to show you guys. Um, this is a dream bag I, I bought. And it finally got here. And I'm really, really... I've been, I've been looking for this bag off and on for a few years trying to find it. The first time I saw it, I fell in love with it. And I, I, it came out many, 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 many years ago. I missed it the first time around. Um, and I was like, wait, I need to find this. Let me see who sent this to me so I can find the right thing. Do, 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 because um, I have like three boxes here. Okay, I know which one it is. Let's see if I can find it now. Give me a second. If it's no, that's from Florida. And not the different one. This one. No, nope, that's from Arizona. Which one is this? 
Oh, Arizona. This one. Okay. So, this is... This is a dream bag. I'm hoping, hoping it works. Hoping. Dee Dee, if you're still here, you will love this bag. I hope you love this bag. It's, I mean, it's just... I'm not even opening it yet, and I'm so nervous because I'm like, please, 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 please be perfect. Um, Chess of Chris, I want shelves, but I also don't want to face the reality of how many bags I have. Yeah, it's, it's a rough reality. Chris says, I love Cassie. I'm so happy I was able to snag something from her closet. Yep, Jolie, mine won't fit on my bookshelves anymore. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a problem. Um, Jolie says, must be. It is a Dooney, Jolie. It is. Yes, it is. It is. It it is. It, it is. <laughs> nothing. Nothing makes me more excited than a Dooney bag. So this is just one of those things I wasn't able to get, and I didn't know it existed. And when I found it for the first time on eBay, it was like so many hundreds of dollars. I'm like, this is ridiculous. But the market has come down, and um, and this is, and it's blue. Well, let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, and you know the other thing that they tell you to do about YouTube is, like, make the titles a certain way. But, you know, I list my titles um, to be descriptive so I know what they are. <laughs> because I have to go find stuff. You, go, We got your number. Yeah, but you're wrong, guys. It's a Dooney. It's not Disney. And it might be blue, but not only blue. How cool is this? Oh my goodness, look how pretty this is. I have wanted this bag. This is the first time I saw it. This is called the Splash. You know, I, I love this. I love this. This is blue. There's blue. There's no Disney. But, um, so there's some, you know, wear issues. But for as old as this bag really is, I am so happy. This is called the, um, Dooney Splash. Let me see what the listing says. Um, do, 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 do. Vintage splash handbag. I have it. I got it for like fifty eight dollars. Um, I was thrilled. Whenever I've seen this, they're normally like over two hundred. I don't know what year this came out. I, I know it's ten years. That's a paint splash Dooney. So yes, yes. I have no idea. Um, I have no idea what year it's from. Um. And, and look, but this is not a young bag. So there's some wear on the corners. Normally, when you see them in this condition, they are so expensive. Um, so let's take a look on the inside. So this buckle, this is about as long as it will go, which is a little short for me. Um, and I knew that. I knew that. I knew that when I bought it. But, you know, love, true love. Um, true love. You make sacrifices sometimes and have a blue inside. Look how cool that is. I have no idea. I'm, I'm hoping that I can f ask, like, some of my Dooney friends, like, when do they make this? Because I don't know. I wasn't here for the first time they made this. It doesn't have the um, sticker or the registration card. I mean, I'm lucky to find this bag. This came out... Uh, I don't know when this came out, but I love this. It's, it's coated canvas. It's their splash. I wish you would do this again, to be honest. I wish they would do this again. Look at this emblem. Like, I don't even remember this emblem. It only has, it does have the three trademarks on it. So it has the original uh, trademark, the duck trademark, and the DMV trademark. So there's three trademarks on there. And it's, I mean, I've never even seen the lock like this. So I need, to, I need to find out, do some research. But when I saw it, I was like, please, please, please sell it to me. Um, girl, I'm extremely late in my sh uh, shipping to you. My apologies, it's all... Oh, you guys are ill. I'm so sorry, Luxational. Yeah, the charm. Look at this charm. I mean, I've never seen this. I've seen a lot of Dooney charms, but I've never seen this. Like, I missed this whole thing whenever this came out. I have no idea. Um, I'm going to have to find out. Hey, favorites of Flora. Flora, do you know when this, the Splash Collection from Dooney came out? Um, I need to ask. There's, I, Laura, aren't you a Dooney... Um, an affiliate now. There's a couple people in the affiliate program. You have to be invited. Um, it looks like a great. Yeah, it does. It has like this, like kind of lines. 
and it just has this really pretty splash. Trying not to get it. Focus, please. Isn't that pretty? And it, it just... And all the zippers... I just love this blue inside. You know? So I need to rate the, the seller because Mercari works on a... But, you know, I did have a fail. I did order a, a gift for my sister and they did disclose that the hardware was broken. So I had to dispute it. So we mailed it off today. But that's about a good, you know, another two weeks or so being stuck with um, my money bound up dealing with the returns, contacting the seller, disputing it with Macari. It's not fun. I hate doing that because I know we're small sellers and it's not easy to sell anything. So when I buy something, I hate when this happens, but they didn't. The man listed it and he had over 900 sales. He knew that hardware was broken. He should never have done it the way he did it. He, I think he just thought people would just, oh, it's fine. Like, no. No, it's not fine. But anyway, I love this. It is too small. Um, the handle, the arm. I mean, it works. But it's right up there, right? It will adjust about an inch. Let's see if that's enough. But the condition of this is amazing. Like, it was used. I mean, it's not like... But this is a really old bag, guys. I know that these are... When you can find these, they're not... I probably, in order to use this, will have to take off this strap and use a aftermarket strap on this because this is not going to... I won't use it in this way, but look at how look at how clashing I am. Because, I mean, imagine it filled in. It's, it has a wide base, right? And if you have to hold it, it's going to swing to the back. I mean, I could carry it this way. Um, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But anyway, so this is one of my um, dream, everybody says, what's your dream bag? This is one of them. <laughs> this, this one, this one, this is one of them. I love graffiti. I love splatter paint. I love art. This is just everything I like about bags. Of course, it clashes horribly with my outfit. You have to, I wouldn't wear it with this dress. <laughs> Anyhow, whew. How are you guys? We're almost at two hours. I have no idea how Dacob can do this for um, six hours straight. And I'm normally listening to his... his. I actually... Um, thank you, Linda S. I love that bag. I love that bag so much. Um, i just going to say I would love that pattern on a shirt. Yeah, yeah. This I wish it would come out with this. I don't know why. I mean, it, this is such a fun pattern. Um, I like this. It's very now. You know, and there's like a little bit of a, a stain right here, but you can't, because of the splatter paint, you can't really tell. And it's just one of those bags that I think look cool. Yeah, it's a cool bag. Oh, this can actually adjust another inch up too, but man, moving these are like, ooh, they're hard to move. Um, I might want to condition the leather before I do that. Um, I wonder if they came out with wallets on that pattern. I think they did. Um, and this, that would be a great shirt. Yeah, it's a beautiful pattern. I, I do not know the history. Um, I've been a bag person, but most of my life I've carried a bag and then to death and I wasn't huge. I didn't have the collection. I mean, I had a collection just because I collected off and on for 20 years, but I didn't follow. Like I went and bought a duty when I went to the store and saw a Dooney. I didn't follow collections or drops or any of that. Um, I'm not sure if Winnie's still here. She might have fallen off with um, the rest of the crew because she's she, where she is, it's kind of late too. I hate adjusting the straps on a bag that I've been the first person to do so. I always find it stiff. Yes, especially older leather. Sometimes I can, I've broken leather because they don't condition it. Because Dooney also tells you not to condition it because they say don't mess with the coating, but I find it's fine. It's still a natural product. Is Winnie and Ed having their live tomorrow? I hope so. I plan my weeks by everybody else. So um, 
Jacob said he's not probably filming on Wednesday until maybe later, if y'all are Super Jacob fans. Um, I'm hoping he films on Thursday, because apparently he's going to some fancy event on Wednesday, and I want to hear the tea. Like, I must live vicariously through you, even though I have no idea where you live. Um, Chris, oh, that's a horror story. I hope I never break and, and yep. Trying to open, yeah, I have, I have. If the leather is too old, it gets dry rot where you don't see it, and it can rip. I've done it. Mm -hmm. Linda asked me to Winnie, Caleb, and Jacob. I schedule my stuff. Yes, exactly. That's why my Monday. Li that's why it's a Monday live because Tuesday's Winnie, Wednesday's normally Jacob, Thursday's normally Caleb. Even though Caleb is pretty late, I normally fall asleep during Caleb's. I normally can never make it through Caleb's live because I have to work. And I'm like, eh. at least with Jacob's, um, I normally don't actually get to watch all of his Wednesday um, because of how late it is. And then on Saturday, I, I upgraded my membership to tier two to get his pre-show because his pre-show is earlier in the day because I'm like, I fall asleep to his voice and wake up to his voice <laughs> because he's so late on a Saturday. Um, yeah, D. D, Linda, we're all the same peeps. Um, but I love, I love doing lives. I love hanging out with you. I actually wrote notes this time. Um, I actually talked about things I never thought I'd talk about. I wonder if I'd lose subs if I talked about religion more. Um, people are either like, wow, I'm so happy you talked about Jesus. Or they're like, why are you talking about Jesus? I'm like, well, because he's, you know, I talk to him every day. Might as well talk about him during my lives and my, in my videos. Um, hi, Jack. Ollie. Real Don D. I stopping in to say hello. Got to help with homework. Hey, what what um what year homework, Ollie? I have to know. My sister is a high school teacher, and I still don't understand the new math. And I've had a high and I've had math teacher try to explain it to me, and I still don't understand the new math. So my friends, uh, my coworkers who have kids, I said, well, so so I tell them like, hey, so how's that new math going? How how's helping your kiddo with the new math? And um. Oh, fourth grade. Yeah, you're right in the thick of that new math. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I was asking my coworker, and his, his kids are a little older than the fourth grade. Yeah. Guess what Milo ate? You left it at, kid, at Milo height? It's parsley. He ate parsley? An entire container of he parsley. He stole parsley? Mr. Milo. I think he might want some more food. Give him a cup of food, It sir. was greens. He likes greens. He's also on, you know, he's a big dog. He might be cold weather food. Um, yes, they changed math. They changed math from the way, at least I learned it. They did it in a more visual, a visual way that if you actually understand the new math, it's actually quick to do. But it's not the way I learned math. So when you have little, you have try to teach your kids so my co-worker like he he goes son this is how i learned it now how you learned it i don't know but this is how you get the answer <laughs> um linda asks, oh no milo the breath will be great now yeah he he's still parsley um lucy oh oh we love my yes milo is very mm -hmm, he loves green things they actually fight over lettuce guys my mother was visiting and she was washing lettuce like what do your dogs want oh mom you have lettuce they want the lettuce like what it's like, yes, give them the lettuce. They will fight for lettuce. They will sit there and hound you till you give them lettuce. Um, parsley, yeah, my dogs love all veggies. He has stolen entire heads of cabbage. Yes, yes, they love, they love, they love lettuce. They like all the green things. I, I can't with this math nonsense. Lux, lux, luxational. And that's, oh my God, Chester, that's too funny. Yeah, luxational, the math thing. And you and you have your children come home and like, mommy, need help with my homework. And you're like, I can't. <laughs> And I've had a math teacher explain to me, and it makes sense. It really makes sense. You see, it's late. It's uh, and my lisp is coming out. Um, the later it is, the more my word slur, the more of a lisp I have, the more my southern accent shows up, and the more I invert things. So you can always tell when I'm tired. Um, 
Yeah, no, the new math is, it, look it up on YouTube. I am pretty sure there's like a bazillion videos on it because all the parents need to figure out how to do this to help their kiddos. And I'm like, I am dreading the day Jenny has to explain new math to her kids. And her, her kid used to do really well with math and math is pretty good as either you're good at it or you're not. The rules are pretty consistent, right? Um, I was not the best at it. Mm -mm, not really. But anyway, so anyway, we've been here two hours. I'm going to have dinner. It is almost nine o'clock at night here. And I have, let me see what, sh what videos I have coming up. Because um, I have quite a few. I pre-film everything. Let's see. Content sort by yeah learning youtube is 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 not it it i'd say start it just start it and do it and then you just learn on the way and i think it's better to grow small by the way chris and everybody because then you're learning along the way i am i only get better with practice right the first time the first video i did i thought was great now many months later i'm like ooh, ugh. <laughs> but when i did it i thought it was great you know, um, DD, that's what the algorithm uses for my channel. The new math, that's why I have small. We don't, DD, we all say we don't understand. I mean, you might want to be closer to the monitor, you're hard to see because you're so far away from your camera. But other than that, I don't get it. Hmm. And luxation will start from the first grade with these gr grids. Yeah, grids, it's a grid, weird grid system. It's like, I don't get it. Um, I'm fun, I'm having fun with the backyard. Or back end of YouTube. Oh yeah, I need to. I just I have to figure out how to make somebody a moderator. There's a way. I went to the help the help section. That's not helpful. That section. Oh my goodness. Hard time trying to make short videos, which is what the algorithm wants me to use. So to make shorts, I use my phone, and I'm not in them. I they're better if I'm showing something and talking, and then I just load them right. In 30 seconds is what they really want. Um, but I, uh, other than that, I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. So what is today? Today is the 16th. Oh, so tomorrow I, I will show you what I sold a furla bag and I never show you the furla bag, but there's a story behind it. Um, and the two bags I bought from selling the furla bag. And then on Wednesday, I'll show you the bag I bought from Ed's vlog sale, which I still have. I did not sell or trade. Um, Thursday, I unbox a brand new bag from the sack. I don't know if anybody's seen the sack bags there. I like them. The leather is really nice. The styles are a little old fashioned, but I think they're pretty, the quality's good. Um, they're great for carry work bags and the, and the leather is good. Um, I think then on Friday I have Timu in a Disney bag. And then Saturday I have Timu. Timu is, uh, oh, and then I have a fail video. I try to sprinkle my Timu in my, my other videos. I'm coming to the end of my show my individual bags that I'm starting to have called and traded and sold and bartered so many of my bags now that I'm going to have to do um, collection videos. And, but there's a lot of people who like my daily videos and that's really hard to keep up indefinitely. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. I like doing my daily videos. I think it's fun. I always find something to talk about. I thought about chopping up some of these lives, but that sounds like too much work, to be honest. I already have a full-time job. Um, having a hard time to make short video. Okay, the sack makes decent stuff. I find them to be pre-love market for decent prices. So I like the sack on the pre-love market, I, but I bought mine new. Macy's again. Macy's is not afraid to put stuff on sale. Um, I'm looking at Tangelo. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but Tangelo... Um, their, I like the quality of their stuff. It's just, it comes down to design and style, right? So I think that's why, um, oh, I love Hobo. 
Um, I've been using Hobo for 20 years, but I don't have very many of their bags anymore. Um, because I used to buy their wallets and the, their leather soft. Um, Tindall has been around a long time. Yeah, I like, and here's the thing. Like, so I know why people love luxury bags because of style. The thing about practicality and quality, sometimes the brands I think have some of the best quality um, of product and consistency are not stylish, you know? So like Tangelo, um, what's that other, even Fossil, they have this like almost utilitarian look to them. Um, Cause bags, what they hold things. They're a fashion accessory, but ultimately they hold things. And um, you, things that sell well are universally flattering to a large group of people. Not everybody is going to want this bag. I want this bag. Not everybody's going to want Donald Duck in this format, cube format, or they're not going to want this bright green bag, right? So, th things, that's why I think so many bags come in browns and muted colors and everybody say falls with lots of camels and grays and maybe um, an occasional maroon, but not a fire engine red because that's a power color and that's too bright and outlandish, but I'm just like, but if you look at all the fashion houses, it's like they do things with a lot of style. It's like, I don't understand how there's such a division between um, brands and it, why does it have to be high end to be edgy, you know? They used to be a brand I love, Max New York. They have nice bags. Yes, I, I have one on my eBay cart that I haven't bought. Um, and I mean, not just even, not even just too edgy. Um, it's just like, I really like the Radley of London bags, but I know they're kitschy. I know they're kitschy. I know that. I mean, I'll, let me show you my um, bag of the day. <sighs> This is coming up in a video, sneak peek. I traded for this bag, but my um, my wallet, which is also coming up in another video. I mean, I realize this is a kitschy wallet. This is, this is pure kitsch, but the quality of this leather is just amazing. I love how these, these Radley of London, this, like box calf essentially how it feels and this is applique applique leather stitched on here i'm sure it's glued and stitched um applique as um, a textile art is one of my favorites i'm really fascinated by applique work so when i first started looking at the radley of london bags i didn't realize that they were applique and when i found out they were applique i'm like oh my goodness i love this look but this is not a universal type of thing, right? Um, I don't see Meredith using this. Now, Dale might. Maybe. She does have Gary the Pigeon Bag. I don't know. Would you have a Scotty Dog Bag? I love this. I think this is so pretty. Um, but anyway. That's what I'm using as my wallet. Oh, I have so much stuff to do. There used to be a brand I love. Okay. I'm still, we're catching up. There's a little bit of lag. Silence. Yeah. I think it's a great one. And full price. I think they're around $100, maybe $125. Um, and they're beautiful. But the quality is beautiful. They, 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 they're just gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Um, but anyway, I don't know where I'm going with that. I know I'm tired. I know I need dinner. I know it's late. Um, never... The leather is so nice. Yeah, the leather's beautiful. And they're and they're not I was talking to my friend who's over in um across the pond. They're very popular over there, but I don't really see them here. I mean, I see them 
at Macy's because I'm looking, but I don't see them out in the wild. Yes, that is a Donald Duck bag. This one. I had it fit myself into a It gets frustrating because everyone has the sport coach. Yes. And I love coach. I'm not lying. I love coach, but they, they are. Here's the thing about coach. I try to sell a soft tabby for $175. The soft tabby that originally cost $450. Never used, I never even used it once. I couldn't sell that. I ended up trading it away for a different bag, which I love more. But people like the bags. But even at half cost, people were like, eh. you know, and they keep pushing the bags. But I don't know. I don't understand. I don't get it. Um, anyway. I'm going to get off the live because I can talk to air and I am tired and not making much sense anymore. You know how the last 20 minutes of, of Winnie's lives are funny? Mine are, I'm sleepy. Um, Chris says, I haven't even been able to sell coach bags for $5 at the, at the recent so I'm keeping mine. Yeah, I know. Uh, Linda S. Thank you, Jackie. It was fun. Good night, everyone. See you the next live. Is the outlet... Fault fast goods. Yes, the outlet. It's between Coach's Outlet and Coach's Boutique. They have a new launch every two weeks. Who can keep up? And forget keeping up. You don't have to buy anything. You know that you wait long enough. It's going on sale. Yay! I'll see you guys next week. Um, next week. What is next week? I can't remember. Oh, in two weeks, my live will be from Orlando. Um. Is it two weeks? I think it's two weeks. In two weeks, we're gonna be in Orlando, right? Yeah. Yeah, in two weeks we'll be in Orlando. I'll be doing a, I'll be doing a live off my cell phone. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> PSA: Thirty years owning a Coach bag really meant yes. Thirty. Yeah, it used to mean something. Coach used to be luxury. It. I still think it is luxury, but I don't. People blame YouTube and influencers, but I don't know. I don't, I just think people have a different idea of what luxury means now to them in general. Um, I'm going to blame anybody. I'm blaming the Kardashians. But before the, but before the Kardashians, there was the other it people. Like, what was that? The Hills show or something in the nineties. That was the hit. And everybody had to have whatever bag they had. And, and there's always going to be that it people, the it bag, the it whatever. But, um, Chris says, I blame Coach when they did the monogram. It happened. It cheapened things in my eyes. Um, oh, I like the seat monogram. I do. Um, nah, Coach is a mess. Mass producing, it's a bit much. Yeah. Jolie's opinion. Um, 90210. I, Jolie, I remember 90210. <laughs> um, D says, I made it a point to ignore all that back then. And then D says, Bradley is my favorite wallet. Yeah, I, I love the meth wallets. They are some of my favorites. Um, I like the monogram now, but when it first came out, uh, I was over it. Um, Luxation, like agree, Chris. But you know, that's why they're coming. Okay, this bag is literally 20 years old. And if you see the new stuff that Coach is putting out, it looks like this. The new Lana bag, which I think is beautiful. Um, I can't remember. This is called... The Penelope, but they have a I can't remember what the new one is called with the longer straps, the one that looks a lot like this. They're going back to this and they're bringing out the um oh what's the name of that? The beat bag and gloved hand leather. So oh god, what's the name of that? It's not the beat. It's if you look at the newest stuff coming out, it's less monogram, more streamlined, more old school. I feel like everybody's going back to their archives. Um, 
Because you want to wear something with more than... If you're wearing prints, I'm not going to wear... I don't know. Anyway, again, I'm talking nonsense. It's time to get off. Thank you so much for joining my live. Thank you for being here. Thumb up the live, share, watch. Um, I normally don't tell people to thumb up the live because I don't understand the algorithm and I don't know if it matters. I'm just happy to hang out with you guys. Thank you for joining me and spending your Monday evening with me. Um, I got the Lana 23 in the color black. It is, I know. I want the Lana. I, I do. I think that bag is beautiful. I just don't want to spend $400 for it. Um, Mia Bella, good night. Good night. Yeah, I'm gonna stop reading these comments. I'm leaving. Good night. End stream. End.